I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week we're all about memorable homes with some of the biggest agents in the business here in New York, Los Angeles and even Hawaii. Plus we explore this bright and airy modern renovation of a Gilded Age mansion on the Upper West Side. And we check in on an open house favorite, Frederick Eklund. But before all of that, we are inside this personalized Soho Stunner with a star pedigree. So you think you've seen it all? Today I'm going to show you something that's going to make you fall back in love with New York City real estate. Welcome to Open House NYC, everyone. This week, we are with some of the biggest real estate agents in the business showing off some truly unique homes. So it's only fitting that I am coming to you from this impressive full floor residence in the West Village, a modern yet elegant take on the classic downtown loft. This main space is huge and features living and dining areas and an open modern kitchen. But the star of the show is the western facing 64 foot expanse of steel casement windows that frame incredible Hudson River views. Not a bad backdrop for your housewarming party, am I right? And at the end of the night, the generous principal bedroom is a private and serene refuge from the city. One of three bedrooms in this over 3,100 square foot home. We are getting started this week in Soho at the home of John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. This former carriage house was built in the mid 1800s, but has since been converted into luxurious residential units with this penthouse being the crown jewel. Noble Black shows us around. <laughs> So you think you've seen it all? Today I'm going to show you something that's going to make you fall back in love with New York City real estate. Hi, I'm Noble Black with Douglas Elliman Real Estate and today I'm going to show you an apartment that is defined by its possibilities. And it all starts in this stunning great room that greets you the moment you walk into the apartment. So the first thing you're going to notice is the light. You've got corner exposure here facing south and east, gorgeous views over all of downtown Manhattan, 12 foot ceilings, and then you appreciate the detail. The building is a former carriage factory, so it combines the industrial past with the hip Soho present. And you can see that right here in the living room. The focal point here is this brass and iron fireplace. And one detail I just have to show you are these beautiful Juliet balconies. It puts Soho at your feet. This apartment has beautiful, authentic elements of its storied past. And this wall of reclaimed wood is just one of them. It really helps soften the space and gives a natural warmth that's felt throughout the home. And one of my favorite things about this home is how it's been so thoughtfully designed for entertaining. With that in mind, the great room has been designed to be multifunctional, living, dining, and kitchen. The kitchen takes center stage here, so it had to be a showstopper, and it really doesn't disappoint. And it all starts with this stunning illuminated white quartz island. It doesn't just look great, it's super functional. You can prepare the dinner and then serve it to the guests you're entertaining. And to tie this whole room together, the cabinetry has beautiful brass accents. There's even a brass library ladder to take advantage of the oversized cabinets. Off the kitchen, there's a beautiful spot for formal dining, but if the urge strikes and the weather cooperates, there's also a great spot upstairs for alfresco dining. At the top of the stairs is this striking atrium that gives you your first peek at what awaits you outside. At over 3,000 square feet, this is one of the largest private roof terraces in the entire city. And you've got views all around, 360 degrees. There's views everywhere. For dinner, you've got a private kitchen, multiple lounge spaces. Whatever you're in the mood for, you've got space for it here. As I said, this is an apartment that's defined by its possibilities. And behind this door are the home's private quarters. This is the primary suite, but with six bedrooms, the possibilities are limitless. Here they paid homage to the history of the building with this exposed brick wall. That's the perfect backdrop for any of your designer pieces. And with such high ceilings, there's an opportunity for some really dramatic lighting. And it's private, it's quiet, there's ample closet space, and it has an ensuite bath. The north wing of the home includes multiple bedrooms, entertaining spaces, and a secondary kitchen. 
and one of my favorite staircases in the city. And here again, you can see the attention to detail with historic elements like exposed brick, reclaimed wood, and wrought iron. And the tour concludes as it began with limitless possibilities. Thanks so much for coming on the tour with me today. Coming up in just a few minutes, we are with Open House favorite Frederick Ackland in Los Angeles. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're with star agent Frederick Eklund in this stylish contemporary estate in the exclusive Holmby Hills section of Los Angeles. He shows us around this idyllic indoor-outdoor dream home with organic design details throughout its approximately 13,000 square feet of interiors. See for yourself. Hi there, my name is Frederick Eklund and welcome to Sunset Noir in Holmby Hills. This 13,000 square foot compound on three levels sits on half an acre with 32 feet high ceilings in here, a waterfall, and it's so dramatic as you enter and you sort of leave the city behind you and you enter this. Incredible. What's so great about this house is that it has so many different areas. Like you eat over there and then maybe after dinner you retract in front of the fireplace. And then little details like this makes the house so different. Look at this, this is an Israeli artist and she bends these right before they solidifies these beautiful metal tiles. And then she's inserted lights in there. So you're coming down here to the lower level, which has the movie cinema, the gym, the dog spa. But there's nothing lower about it, as in it's not a basement because you have 32 foot ceilings here, you have natural light, and it's a happy place to entertain. Oh, are you here? This closet is so large that I can actually dance in here. And look at this. If you like to play superheroes like I do, you can kind of pretend that you're like Batman or something. I am Frederick. Save the world, at least the real estate market. And when you're done playing around, you go to the bathroom to make yourself beautiful. So you're in this incredibly large, probably one of the largest primary bathrooms I've seen with this beautiful light. There are also floors. Then you come to this tub, steel, cast iron, and then it's 600 pounds. Can you imagine getting this thing in here with some of these bronze and gold accents? And then you have this beautiful tile, hand painted actually from Spain, from an artist. But look at this, I feel like I'm coming to Aspen or something. Look at this slanted ceiling with the beautiful steel black beams. The light is incredible. It is so pin drop quiet. And then you have this incredible sort of fireplace. This lava stone is actually from Vesuvio, the volcano. And then the views. We haven't really talked about them, but you have these beautiful views of Century City, LA, and all this warm wood. But most importantly, you're looking down at your own yard. Let's actually go down there. And now I save the best for last. Look at this, guys. The privacy. You can't see anything or anyone. All you hear are birds, the water in the pool. And here you sit and you watch a great movie. Now, the pool is so great for families. Your guests can actually swim up to this sunken bar. Wow. But you know, what I love most about this house is the exterior. It's so sexy, it's still warm with all the wood, and it's so calming to me. So that concludes my tour today of Sunset Noir. See you guys, I gotta start cooking now. I have some guests coming over. Bye-bye. Thank you. Don't go anywhere because you are not gonna wanna miss the surprises at this Gilded Age mansion on the Upper West Side. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Now we're on the Upper West Side for a look inside this spectacular mansion. It was built in 1898, but has been completely updated for today's living. Filled with contemporary style, timeless grace, and plenty of surprises. See what I mean as Agent Kathy Taub shows us around. I'm Kathy Taub with Sotheby's International Realty, and don't move your seat because you are about to see the most incredibly super chic, sophisticated mansion on the Upper West Side. This is not an ordinary townhouse. This is a mansion. It's nearly 40 feet wide, and in Manhattan, width of a house really matters. This house was designed by Clarence True, who was one of the great architects of his day in 1898. And in fact, he designed the houses on this street, and this one is undisputably the star of the show. Upon entering through the double glass doors, you come into a beautiful gallery, which has original but restored oak wainscoting, gorgeous fireplace. The whole rear of the house has been sheared, letting in incredible sunshine all day long. That's a really unusual feature in New York City. And that's just the beginning. There's so much to show you. So let's get started. Let's go upstairs. Here on the parlor level, we have living room, dining room, and kitchen. Here in the living room, we have an elegant yet comfortable environment with smoked oak plank floors laid in a herringbone pattern, a wood-burning fireplace with marble surround, and stained glass doors which lead to a Juliet balcony with views of Riverside Park. And I love the 10-foot ceilings which create a great volume of space in this environment, and this little nook where you can mix your drinks and mix your music. I really love the flow of this floor. It really highlights the width of this mansion. How great are these mirrored pocket glass doors? Perfect for entertaining and you can create privacy. And here we are in this classic but contemporary dining room. The dining room features restored oak beam ceilings, incredible natural light, and twin custom designed chandeliers, which are really exceptionally gorgeous. And one of my favorite features of the dining room are these adorable stained glass medallions depicting the astrological signs. The principal suite is truly something special and occupies the entire third floor. It features a sitting room with yet another fireplace, huge picture windows, and this bay window where you can just sit, read, relax, or take in the views of the bucolic Riverside Park across the way. The suite also features a huge closet and a bright bathroom with privacy glass. Oh, and that's not all. There are just a few other places I want to show you. On the fourth floor, we have the three guest bedroom suites. And up here on the fifth and penthouse levels, we have the entertainment areas. The entertainment levels feature a generous 1,200 bottle climate controlled wine cellar and adjacent is your own gym equipped with everything for a great workout. And when you're done sweating it out, you can come up here and unwind by playing some serious table tennis or watching your favorite NBC programming. Finally, upstairs is the penthouse suite, an entirely new floor the owners added when they renovated, perfect for lounging inside and outside on your south-facing terrace. At nearly 40 feet wide and six stories tall, this absolutely spectacular mansion is the crown jewel of the Upper West Side. I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I have. Thanks for coming. Just after the break, get taken away as we explore this oceanfront dream home in Honolulu. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we are visiting this dream home on Oahu's southeastern coast. This is a beautiful example of mid-century Hawaiian architecture that appropriately blurs the line between indoor and outdoor living with views of the Pacific in virtually every area of the home. Check it out. Aloha and welcome. I'm Ann Perry with Compass. I'm honored to present you 4819C Kahala Avenue on the southeastern shoreline of Oahu.
This beautiful house was originally built in 1947. The house over the years has been meticulously renovated and restored. Today you will find four bedrooms, three and a half baths in the main house. In addition to that, you have two one bedroom, one bath apartments above the garage. Of all the properties that I've ever sold or listed, this is my favorite. It defines Hawaii architecture, elegance in design, and lifestyle living. Let's go ahead and take a look. Once you enter through the private gates, you are enveloped by the lush tropical landscaping which surrounds you. You come down a flagstone path complete with a small little bridge that takes you over the ponds that surround the entry of the property, complete with giant koi fish who greet you. Koi fish are known for prosperity and good fortune, and this property is all of that combined. The mystery of this house unfolds as you enter through these beautiful koa wood doors. Koa is a Hawaiian wood that's a treasure in Hawaii and highly respected. You have this massive 120 foot linear frontage view of the ocean. And then behind you, you open to the sparkling pool, covered lanais and mountains behind. The interior design of this blends Hawaii, tradition, all with a focus on flowing with nature, going with the sea, going with the winds, and going with the ways of Hawaii. The pool is a place for connection, connecting to the main residence and connecting to the two one-bedroom, one-bath apartments. The pool area was designed to work with multiple lifestyles for the athlete who wanted the lap pool, for the kids, or for just floating in the pool and enjoying a Mai Tai on the steps. Hawaii is all about indoor-outdoor living. It's all about that sense of connection to the environment and nature. The architectural design of this house captured those elements with extra deep patios. After a full day of activities, let's head over to the relaxation of the principal suite. Most houses have a primary suite. This house has a primary wing. The primary suite has dual bathrooms, dual closets, plus you've got a spa-like bathtub and shower. On top of that, you have your own private media room, den, or office, which opens to the pool. Pool, ocean, take your choice. Thank you for joining me today to tour this exceptional Kahala residence. This property defines Hawaii, Hawaii beach houses, living on the ocean, and the culture of the islands. It's been a pleasure to be with you. As we say in Hawaii, ahui ho, until we meet again, aloha. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we are visiting this palatial estate in Los Angeles. Welcome back everyone. Now we're with Gary Gold inside one of Los Angeles' most iconic and legendary estates, the former home of William Randolph Hearst. Check it out. Hi, I'm Gary Gold and I'm about to show you one of the most amazing homes in all of Los Angeles. When William Randolph Hearst purchased this home, it was actually a step down. He had come from the 75,000 foot Hearst Castle he fell on hard times and he needed to hoof it here in a mere 29,000 foot estate, which was purchased by his wife, Marion Davies. So let's go take a look at a Hollywood icon, which is a true landmark, the William Randolph Hearst estate. So this is one of the 10 classic homes that were built in LA in the 20s and 30s. And this is old Hollywood. This is a room. One of the most epic rooms I have ever seen. The wood detail, the ceilings. And take a look at these books. These are actually library books that are hundreds of years old. Whoever gets this house, don't return the books. The fees will be brutal. More expensive than the house. I want you to come upstairs and see something that's very cool. You gotta have a catwalk if you're gonna have a proper library. And if you wanna kick it old school, Check these out. You've got these benches every couple feet where people like back in the day would sit down and they would read a book while they're perusing 
the library. Here you have this nightclub. So Hugh Hefner had a nightclub in LA, and when it closed down, all the components were brought here to make this room, which literally is a recreation of that nightclub. And this has five sets of French doors that lead out to what I think is the best part of this whole house, the backyard. This whole backyard is really anchored around this large swimming pool and then these cascading reflecting pools that spill down here. And you've got about 150 feet of water from end to end. And this backyard you've seen before. It was in The Godfather. JFK and Jackie O honeymoon back here. There's some famous pictures of them standing in the reflecting pond for one reason or another. And if you look at these columns, these are actually Grecian columns, and you can see there, no one is alike. As big as this yard is, there's not a single person other than yourself that can look in. It's completely private. This really is the ultimate Beverly Hills state. See you next time. I can't believe the show's already over. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, because we're gonna keep giving you these amazing homes.